today I'm gonna show you how I create this beautiful natural look. Basically, it's no makeup look after 40. Yes, I'm after 40. My skin don't look good. I have pores. I have discoloration, pigmentation. I have melasma. And I truly want to look younger after 40. And now in few steps, I will show you how I create this no makeup look after 40. After 40, I do have lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, discoloration, acne scarring, large, large, large pores, but I do want to look young and I prefer makeup, no makeup look. And in this video, I will show you, will teach you how to look good, young, if you have a problem skin like me. Okay, let's start. And remember, I'm very, very sensitive. Sometimes you see like I have like some breakups. Actually, it's not actually pimple. It's like my allergy reaction, but it is looks like in people. But let's start. Because it's winter now, my skin combination to dry. I'm gonna use first. It's a sample I have from La Mer Oil and I will apply on the entire of my face. This also oil you can put on your hair, you can put on your cuticle, will give you nice beautiful glow and radiance and will give you nice hydration. Second item, I'm going to use eye cream from Estee Lauder Nighttime Repair. It is, it's a gel formula eye cream. I like to use underneath and I like to put on my eyelid because my eyelid, it's so many times looks right now like very like creepy and dry. And it's amazing product. It will smooth your eye area underneath and on top. And now I'm gonna use my favorite tool. What it does, it has this cooling effect. Also, if you have in the morning puffiness, if you feel like you have like water on your face, <laughs> it will drain your water and again it will give you this lift immediately lift after lift i'm gonna use serum from tula this is it's a red it's named hello radiance illuminating serum will give will give me a nice beautiful glow also this is serum for irritation if you have irritation in your skin it will calm down also it's um target dark spots discoloration and let me show you on my hand how loose this product will give you immediately immediately glow coming a little bit close to you i want you to look at one side you can see immediately this glow and whereas i do not have and again you can see i have a large large melasma i have a scarring and in a few minutes this is will look perfect you can see how glowing my skin this looks very pretty okay next step it's moisturizer for face for my moisturizer, I'm gonna use Chanel moisturizer. It's solution 10. It's only 10 ingredients here. Good hydration, fragrance-free, and this is specific moisturizer for sensitive to extremely sensitive skin. I always like to warm products on my hand.
after moisturizer i'm gonna put right now mario badesco lip balm it's no color here but will give you nice good hydration after skincare i'm gonna use primer from clarins it's named sos number zero three coral and this is its primer visibly mi minimize dark spots and discoloration if you have acne if you have again melasma discoloration pigmentation this is it's your um, primer i really like it's coming five different primers um but um, again if you have issues like me this is it's the best one you can see one side and another how like even pop my skin and it looks so so good i want you to look at my skin this is no foundation no concealer but after this important skin routine or steps look how good my skin right now looking right i do have a large pores i'm gonna use a nurse products and this is it's a products will minimize my pores also will soft my line and will give me this beautiful blurry effect and now it's time to use foundation today i'm gonna use dior forever skin glow color zero of, oh sorry 2n it's a medium to full coverage foundation and will give me a nice beautiful glow Just want you to see how beautiful this foundation great coverage and again look at how glowing my skin i apply my foundation a little bit more heavy right here because i have discoloration but where i do not have much i just apply very little foundation it's done and now i'm gonna use this beautiful palette it's concealer palette from mac color light and it's a studio fix concealer corrector palette this is very creamy and rich formula I'm using beauty blender to absorb a little bit heaviness from concealer and I'm applying also on my eyelid we're gonna let concealer sit on my skin a little bit. I want concealer to adapt to my skin. And now we're gonna use bronze. It's a cream bronze from Norse Color Laguna. Also, all products which one I'm using are listed below. And remember, I also have a short video, short, where sometimes you will see like for less than a minute all these steps. <laughs> I'm using Trish McAvoy brush and I'm just gonna apply very very little also I like to warm this product on my hand I apply my bronze little bit little bit higher bronze it's done and you can see how healthy my skin look it how younger i look right now right you saw me without all the steps and with steps it's huge huge different and you can see again this is beautiful beautiful foundation and bronze it's glowing very very natural my concealer little bit creasing i'm gonna use my little bit finger i'm gonna absorb and then i'm gonna put a powder for my powder, I'm gonna use Brand Norse. It's a color crystal. I'm gonna put on my puff. Then I'm gonna basically push this product in 
inside of my puff or we'll say I remove this like extra heavy uh, excess of powder here it's like almost nothing and now I'm just gonna press 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 it's gonna set my concealer it's gonna lock my concealer and concealer will not crease I know my skin absorb color. Now I'm gonna use another palette. This is basically highlighter here and bronze together from Hourglass and it's color Radiance Light. I have a big brush, it's my powder brush. I'm gonna actually use all these three colors together and a little bit more this one bronze. And I'm just gonna put a little bit where is my bronze will give me extra will say glow but it's not too too much and you can still see through all this foundation and concealer my own skin little bit discoloration but it's okay I don't want to look heavy like I'm wearing heavy makeup now I have a big blending brush and I'm gonna use this color it's not too light you can see this is it's a lighter color and this palette we're gonna use this one it's gonna give me slightly little bit little bit glow but not too too much again remember it's like no makeup look after 40 <laughs> And this is what I like about, like, yes, we're using products, but somebody will look at you and say, oh my God, you have amazing skin. No, we just know how to write, use products. Same, same, same color. I'm just going to put a little bit close to my brow bone. Again, it's not like I have highlighter, highlighter. You barely see it. For my blush, I'm going to use brand MAC and its name Baby Blush. It's so pretty color. It is matte color, but I don't want any like highlighter or shimmer blush because again, it's a natural look after 40. And you can see I apply a little bit blush higher. And also I'm gonna put slightly more on my brush, this blush, and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here and right here. It's gonna naturally pop my eyes, you can see right now, but it's not gonna look like I have any eye makeup. Let's feel my little bit brows, curl lashes, and we're almost done. Eyebrows make huge difference. I'm gonna use Trish McAvoy brow pencil. It's very small and tiny. I'm just gonna feel my eyebrows. I did very, very natural my eyebrows. This is color brunette, but again, look at just one eye and another. This is a give me a lift, a pop actually, I will say my face, but it's not looks too heavy at all. What do you think, guys? I do like it. It looks so, so natural. We're almost, almost finished. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to share with your friend, with your mom, with your grandma, please share I really appreciate it I'm working very hard because I truly love what I'm doing and I do like to look younger and this is why I'm teaching you you can look younger without plastic surgeon <laughs> okay here I'm gonna use same palette and we're gonna use this lighter color this is my like a concealer brush and I'm gonna just put little bit little bit in a corner again it's not gonna show like too much too much highlighter it's gonna looks very very natural now it's time to curl my lashes I'm using Chanel lash curler and then we're gonna use mascara and mascara we're gonna use from Lancome Mm -hmm. 
wow look at my lashes i just curl them you can see here and he's like my lashes so straight you barely see them oh this is looking good like i mentioned we're gonna use lancome mascara and i have so many different mascaras i always put little bit sticker here a day when i open okay so this is it's a great great mascara look at this curling little bit brush and it's a good separation volume but it never looks clumpy Done. again so natural you see a little bit highlighter but it's not aggressive it's like makeup no makeup we're gonna finish this look with lip liner from charlotte tilbury and uh, this is it's a new product for me westman atelier lip balm very very neutral color my lip liner from charlotte tilbury and it's a pillow talk it's one of my favorite nude color And this color name Nana. <laughs> My lips look so full. Mm, very, very natural. Last step, Lancome fix it makeup setting mist. No fragrance. It's one of my favorite, favorite mist. And last step it's a beautiful beautiful earrings you see my skin before you see after it looks very natural very healthy i'm ready to go to work it's not looks like i use 300 products but all this step it's important if you want to look younger after 40. if you like this video please subscribe comments below and please give me thumbs up love you more than ice cream